you've been skating or longboarding for some time, you've likely encountered the notorious anti-Mongo warriors that will tell you you suck if you push Mongo. From a style perspective, you could say that it's not as cool as pushing with your back foot, but isn't that just subjective? Some of you that are watching this video might not even be aware of what pushing Mongo is. It's when you push with your front foot instead of your back foot. If you're regular, pushing with your left foot is considered Mongo, and if you're goofy, pushing with your right foot. Now that you know what pushing Mongo is, which I'm sure the majority of you watching this already knew, let's go over the disadvantages. The first and most obvious one I would say is that it hinders your ability to set up for a trick. If you're pushing with your front foot, it's gonna take longer to get it back on the board and position it properly. Secondly, if your weight is centered over the back truck and you hit any sort of debris, it makes it much easier for your board to change direction, go left, go right, and it's just overall harder to control your board. Not being as stylish, which is subjective, it's harder to set up for a trick, and it's harder to control your board from a stability perspective. Those are the main reasons that pushing Mongo has a bad reputation. But what if you're into a different style of skating? Something like long distance pushing, downhill. Well, then the first disadvantage of not being able to set up for a trick quickly doesn't apply. Within these styles, you're not looking to set up and throw a tray flip, so the positioning of her front foot isn't as vital. Now, I'm not too familiar with these riding styles, so I put out a post on our community tab asking you guys if you thought there were any advantages to these styles, and so, to my surprise at least, there are. One of the first ones was if you have less weight centered over your front truck, then when you hit debris, it's gonna be easier to go over it. While I can see the angle of where this is coming from, I think it's much more likely you hit debris and it completely changes the direction of your board, making it more sketchy. So I think that disadvantage outweighs this advantage. Curious to know your guys' thoughts though. The second, and I'd say most valid advantage to pushing Mongo was for the style of long distance pushing. If you can push both regular and Mongo, it's beneficial because you can switch back and forth so you, you don't get tired and go for a longer distance. I think that definitely makes sense and it's probably the most valid reason I've heard for pushing Mongo. From a downhill riding perspective, someone mentioned that they could actually get more momentum by pushing Mongo. Now, I don't know how accurate that is from like a physics, like is that true? I have no idea, but I know it was mentioned a few times and so just wanna throw that in. And the final advantage that was mentioned was if you're used to pushing Mongo, then pushing Switch is gonna be easier for you. So what does this all mean? Well, I would say if pushing Mongo is comfortable for you, it's not putting you in any more danger for your riding style, then who cares? I wanted to make this video to highlight both the disadvantages and advantages so that you could make your own decision. And if you see someone pushing Mongo, doesn't necessarily mean that they don't know what they're doing. It could actually be beneficial for their riding style. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. At the end of the day, we're riding wooden decks with four wheels. It's not that serious, dude.